Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer and I'm just applying this evenly across my entire face. Just like that you guys. Now I'm going to mix a, a few drops of my Skin Therapy Oil with my 338 foundation from Maybelline and that's the Fit Me Poreless Matte. And I'm using a makeup brush just to apply an even layer across my entire face. So I'm just getting my eyelids right now and then I'm also going to take some of that foundation down my neck. Okay. Now that I've got an even layer, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Warm Sand and I'm applying that on my chin above my lips above my eyebrows and also below my under eye area. Okay. And for the brightest part of my eyes, I'm using yellow corrector and that is also a pro, um, a pro conceal color from LA Girl. Okay, so now I'm just taking a clean beauty blender and I'm blending out the concealer underneath my eyes and making sure that's nice and even and that there's no visible lines um, that are not blended. Okay, so just keep blending and I'm blending underneath my chin and I'm also going to go back up and blend out my forehead. And just use patting motions. So I'm just going to go in with a little more concealer because I didn't feel like it was bright enough. Okay, so just like that, that's about where you want your highlight to be. It can be brighter if you like. Um, I just like to reverse contour. I feel like it's the most natural look for our skin. Okay. And I'm just using patting motions under the eyes. You don't want to press too hard because you don't want to move the product away or cause premature wrinkling. So now I'm going in with Dark Cocoa. This is also an LA Girl Pro Conceal color and I'm using this to add a little more depth to my face around my forehead and also on my cheekbones and my jawline. Okay so I'm just going to blend out my jawline make sure that's even there's no lines. So now I'm going in with my air spun powder and this is a naturally neutral and I'm just setting my under eye area. Um, I'm not necessarily going to bake it. I'm just going to buff it away with the correct tones for those parts of my skin. This just helps so that before I even put the other powder on, it won't become blotchy. Okay, so now I'm taking my Beauty Treats um, bronzer palette and I'm using this color to set underneath my eyes. This is my transition color between my um, my contour, my powder contour and my highlight. So I'm going to also use that shade to set my eyelids as well. Okay and now I'm going to go back into the Beauty Treats palette and I'm going to be using this darker um, caramely shade to add a little more depth to my cheeks. And I'm also going to apply this around the perimeter of my forehead. And I like this shade because it's nice and warm and it brings a little more color back to the face. Okay. And right now I'm just buffing those colors in. So now I'm going to take my um, Contour Duo from Nika K and I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm going to go and apply that to the hollows of my cheeks, the spots where I would like to be the darkest on my cheek highlight. And you see I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm also going to take some of that onto my forehead and just focus it on those areas. It's okay if you use more than one contour shade. Um, it really helps to um, blend everything nice and evenly and it looks more skin-like. Um, I feel at least. Okay. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of that 
um, airspun powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face that isn't the highlighted or contoured areas so my jawline my neck around my lips and etc And you're probably still wondering why I still have powder underneath my eyes in the inner corners. It's because I'm gonna go in with another palette. This is my BH Contour and Blush 2 palette. And I'm using this as an under eye highlight. Um, and I'm just gonna sweep away the rest of that powder and really buff this into the skin. So I'm not gonna have any extra texture on my skin because I'm really buffing this powder into the skin. So I'm doing kind of a buff and bake, or a bake and buff uh, type of technique here. And I feel like this works best for me. And it's also another great way to waterproof your makeup and really set your makeup. Um, I live in Texas, it gets hot as hell and sometimes even very humid. And my makeup does not go anywhere when I use this technique. So I'm also using that powder on the highlighted area, so right between my eyebrows, underneath the inner corner of my eyes, because that's where I want my highlight to be the brightest. And also just the tip of my chin. And I'm gonna go and just buff everything nice and even, and you don't see any lines or any um, spots of demarcation. Um, my um, my contour and highlight is very nice and evenly blended um, and it's very seamless when you do it this way okay so I'm just making sure that it's blended okay now I'm taking my Nikki K blush duo and I'm just taking a mixture of both the orange and the pink because I love orange blush but pink blush is also it brings back that pink and life back into your skin um, and I feel like it just makes a nice kind of coral color when you mix the two. So I'm just laying it on the cheeks just a little bit and then I'm going to buff it in. So you see it's a nice tinted pink. It's a nice, it's a very sheer color and blushes are great to work with um, on your entire face. So now I'm going in with my e.l.f. Um, buffing brush. And I'm going to take that pink and I'm going to lay this into my crease area. And I'm going to stop right below the brow bone, but I'm really going to build up that pink color. I love using blushes on my eyes because it's great to blend with. They can be very sheer or they can be very, very intense depending on how you lay the color. So this is a great tip for any person who's trying to learn how to blend better. Um, with their eye makeup. Okay, so now I'm going to take another one of my artist brushes. This is a smaller one, and I'm going to take my uh, Black Radiance uh, blush in Raspberry. This is a little bit darker, and I'm laying this closer to the crease because I want it to be more intense right there. So I'm just laying the color there, and I love how this brush just fits in the crease of my eye. I can really just lay the color uh, seamlessly with minimal effort. And I'm just making sure that is nice and intense. So now I'm going to take my um, conceal brush from Real Techniques and I'm taking this darker shade from my Nika K Contour Duo and I'm going to deepen my crease a little bit more with this shade. And uh, it's just a nice brown. When you mix it with that raspberry, it really makes a nice dark maroon shade. And it's really nice for the, the crease area. So now I'm just taking a thin lip brush and I'm taking my NYX Shimmer Roll-On in Walnut. And I'm applying this directly to my eyelid. I took out the rolling ball um, because I didn't, I wasn't able to get really nice in the crease, um, like the inner corner of the eye, uh, precisely. So it's just easier to use a lip brush because it foils on the eye, and you can get more of the shimmer out um, of this pigment onto your eyes. Okay. So now I'm going in with my NYC 
liquid liner and I'm just creating wings on the outer corner of my eyes. Um, I don't line all the way on the inner corner because I have long eyelashes but when I line very close to the inside of my eyes, I start to lose my eyelashes, um, so to speak, when I apply my mascara. So I just make sure I line from the outer corner halfway in and just create a nice winged look that way. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a standard eyelash curler and this is from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and just make sure you take an, an even amount of time on each eye because you don't want one lash to look or curlier than the other. And now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm wiggling it at the base of the root all the way up to the tip of the lashes. And when I get down to my bottom row of lashes, my lower lashes, what I do is take the brush and I just tap it into the eyelashes. And that really helps build up the product and make your bottom lashes look as intense as the upper lashes. So I forgot my um, liner. So this is my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner. And I'm just going to take this on my waterline, um, nowhere else uh, on the eye. Okay, so just like that, you guys. Now I'm gonna go back into my bronzer palette from Beauty Treats, and I'm taking this nice highlight shade, and I'm applying that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm also gonna apply that to my nose the arches of my eyebrows. So I took a smaller uh, artist makeup brush and I'm doing the crease of my eyebrows. I'm gonna take that on my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. Okay. So I'm taking the bigger brush and I'm taking a darker highlighter for my forehead because I don't want it to be as intense as my cheekbones, but I still wanna get the glow there. So I'm just applying that right above the arches and fading it upwards. I'm also going to take that darker highlight and bring it down the center of my nose. And just like that, you guys, that's how I highlight my face. You can strobe your face that way. I just um, looked in the mirror when my face was actually sweaty without makeup just to see where I glow. And that's where I glow the most. So I'm going back in with my Skin Therapy Oil. And I'm applying this on my lips before I add my matte lipstick because they can be drying sometimes. So I'm just rubbing that in nice and even. And I'm gonna take my matte lipstick from RK by Kiss in Infinite Love and I'm applying this on my entire lips. I'm not using any liner. I don't feel like it's necessary for this color. If you'd like to use liner, go ahead. And there you go. This is the complete look, you guys. This is my flirty glam makeup look and it's great for dates, it's great for any occasion, it's just really fun and girly and I hope you guys liked my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Be sure to check me out on Instagram and Facebook.